Hey everybody. Um, today we're going to go over the differences between saddle stitching and machine sewing um, because those are the two most popular ways to sew leather together. Um, I figured we'd make a video discussing the differences between both, um, what both are specifically, and maybe some pros and cons of both as well. So the first thing we're going to go over is machine sewing. And now, disclaimer, we don't own a sewing machine. Um, we've never machine sewn, um, but that doesn't mean it's bad. But this is a machine sewn wallet, um, or just like a little sample thing that we got a long time ago. Um, so I figured I'd have that for reference, but I'm going to draw out basically what a machine sewn stitch is. Um, and I've heard it called like a loop stitch. But the way that a machine stone stitch works, and the biggest difference, there's a lot of little differences, but the biggest difference is that the machine sewn stitch and the saddle stitch, are they function differently. So it's not just that one's done on a machine and one's done by hand. They're different stitches completely. So machine sewn stitch is, I think it's called like a loop stitch. So if this is the leather you're sewing, because a sewing machine, you have the top needle and the bobbin on the bottom, the needle isn't gonna detach and then come back through the hole, right? So the needle is constantly going down and coming back up. And what's happening is the bobbin thread is catching that needle and looping around, kind of. And so ultimately what you get with a machine sewn stitch is you get, let's say the needle is up on this side, right? you get the thread goes down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up, so on and so forth. Then on the bobbin end, what it's doing, this is, we'll make that the bobbin, what happens on the bobbin end is, it's basically, it's catching and going through, catching and going through, catching and going through, catching and going through. And that is machine sewn stitch. So what you end up with is, and it's this, you know, it's the reason that you can have a bobbin color and a needle color be two different colors of, of, of thread, and you'll have all one color stitches on one side and all a different color on the other side. They don't alternate because the thread's never actually passing through the leather. In the middle of the leather, if your tension's right on a machine, that kind of loop exists and it's hidden by the fabric or the, or the leather. But you're always gonna have two threads running in parallel. They're never gonna cross over. So that's the basic gist of a machine sewn stitch. So the saddle stitch, which is what we do in all of our videos, and this, this is saddle stitched. The biggest difference, and we'll get another drawing going here, and I apologize, it's drawing upside down. I'm, I'm not really good with drawing in general, but there's our leather. The biggest difference with a saddle stitch is because you're doing it by hand and you're using two needles, the thread passes through the leather, loops around, and comes back. So you have one thread going like this, and then you have your other thread, which they're the same thread, but you have two different lines of thread, right? Um, the other thread is going like this. And that's basically the gist of it. It's a very simple stitch, right? But if you look at this, what you're really creating, you're creating two separate structural stitch lines. You need both of them to keep the tension, but it is possible if you were to just have a piece of leather, and I think we've probably all done this with arts and crafts and school and stuff. If you just lace one thread like this, this is how, you know, this is a stitch in quilting. It's a stitch in a lot of, um, fabric arts, right? Um, this is a structural stitch. So the biggest difference is when is going to, well, the biggest difference is going to come in um, use and wear and how things break and how they can be repaired. So I've cut open a machine sewn stitch first so we can kind of look at how this operates in, in practice, right? So because we have two threads running in parallel and this is like, this is just normal um, leather th uh, saddle stitching thread. It's very thick. It was done on a really burly machine. But when you pull the thread, you see how you have that loop there, but it doesn't go all the way through. So over time, if you have a break in 
in your stitching, because nothing goes through the leather, you can pull it out. Now it's not gonna pull out fast, you know, um, it's not gonna pull out fast or anything like that, but eventually this will come through like that, and then you pull again, and then it'll come through like that. It'll kind of just whip around. And if you use, I mean, if you're, if you're using a lighter thread, the thread will tend to just rip, but it's still plenty strong. Um, the, the problem is that the whole seam is gonna come undone if one thread breaks. So now the saddle stitch, if we cut one of these threads, because we have essentially two separate stitch lines running totally through the leather, if you have a stitch that breaks, and I know I'm, I'm taking apart a perfectly nice wallet here, but you can see that where the break is, I can pull the thread, and if I go through with my awl, I can follow this thread and undo it. But because we have essentially a totally separate stitch line running at the same time, this thread also has to unwind the opposite way to undo that stitch line. And you're still gonna have the second stitch line holding things together. So the th it's not that the thread is stronger, it's you use pretty much the same thread. The mechanism of the stitch, if there's a single break, will allow the saddle stitched piece to stay together. Whereas with a machine sewn piece, because the stitch doesn't pass through the leather and it they lock the each thread locks into the other thread if you have one break you're going to lose the whole seam and that's largely why this is called a saddle stitch um it's it, because in the field if you break a stitch on your saddle or, or on whatever goods you're using your whole piece isn't just going to fall apart it's going to have a broken stitch for sure and you're going to need to repair it but it's still gonna hold together. Whereas if you have a machine sewn stitch, you can go in with a patch kit and kind of sew it up. That's great too. Um, but it's much more likely to just completely unravel just due to how the stitch holds together. So one of the things you can actually do is if you emulate a machine sewn stitch by hand, you can end up with two different color threads on your piece. And now I've only done this like once in my life. I'm not very good at it. But it's possible. So while I'm doing this, um, let's talk about the pros and cons of both. Um, and I know that this is kind of a, there's a lot of uh, very strong opinions on, on this in leather work. Uh, personally, I think that there's a time and a place for both. But we'll talk about the pros of each first. So with machine sewing, um, it's extremely fast. You can make pieces and sew them, sew them up very quickly which in turn keeps your production costs low, which means you can charge less for the product if you are making it to sell. Um, with things like bags and stuff, uh, you know, if you want to make a duffel bag, that's you're talking probably days of hand stitching. And with machine sewing, you can get it done very fast. Um, machine sewing is also a lot more simple. It can take a few months, definitely takes a few months, to get really proficient at hand sewing. Um, there's a lot of muscle memory and technique and stuff. And with machine sewing, um, it's it's not easy by any means, but the actual stitch itself, learning how to use the machine, being able to stitch, is a little quick. Can be a little quicker than learning how to hand sew in um, in leather specifically. Um, and because it takes less time, it's a lot more affordable of a production method. Um, with hand sewing, your main pros are that it is, as we talked about, um, the thread itself is not stronger, but the stitch when it breaks is a bit stronger. Um, because you have thread going through the leather instead of running in parallel, that seam is going to hold if one thread breaks. Another pro with hand stitching is that it's very cheap to get into. You can buy a set of weaver stitching chisels or whatever chisels you'd like for 25, 50, $100 and some thread and you're good to go. To get a machine to sew through leather that's about this thick, um, you're probably gonna end up spending, you know, in the high three, low to mid four figures to get a machine that will reliably sew through 10, 12 ounce thick leather. Um, and another pro is the repairs. 
Um, so if you're making leather goods, they're probably going to last a long time. With saddle stitch stuff, if you get a breakage, right, you can pull back the stitching, back sew everything, and only repair the immediate area. A lot of the times with machine sewn stitching, you have to re-sew the whole seam. With fabric, that's not that big of an issue, but with leather, because those holes aren't going to close up as much like fabric, it's, it can be a little bit more difficult. It's not hard, but it can be a little bit more difficult and the repairs are usually usually involve a larger piece of the leather good that you're repairing. Which leads us into the cons. So for machine stitching, um, first, like we were talking about, price. Um, it's a lot more money to get a sewing machine that can sew through thick leather like this than it is to get a set of chisels. Um, the second con would probably be, oh my gosh, this is, I don't know if I'd suggest this, this is very strange to do. <laughs> um, the second con with machine stitching is the repairs. Um, you're probably going to have to do more extensive repairs to a broken machine sewn stitch in a leather piece than you are to a hand sewn stitch because, like we mentioned before, um, once you break a stitch with that loop stitch, you have basically just two threads running in parallel for the length of that stitch. So you're probably going to have to go in and repair a little bit more. Um, and because the holes are already punched, it's, it can be a little weird. It's not hard, but it can be a little bit more weird. Cons with saddle stitching, it's very slow. Um, it can easily take three to four times longer to stitch up a piece by hand than it does on a machine. And there's a time constraint to learning. Um, it is cheaper to buy a set of stitching chisels than it is to buy a sewing machine that can handle 10 ounce leather, but it's going to take a lot longer to get a consistent stitch by hand than it is on a sewing machine. Um, and so with all that being said, um, what do I prefer? I mean, I honestly don't have a preference so much as I think that there's a right stitch for each job. Um, so we obviously, we make a lot of smaller goods and I prefer saddle stitch stuff. I prefer saddle stitching smaller goods because the direct stitch line has a lot of, is exposed to a lot of abrasion. And so it's a lot easier to maintain and repair a saddle stitched wallet. But with something like a bag where your seam is inside the bag, it really makes sense to machine sew because that stitch isn't, um, the stitch is just as strong structurally to hold the bag together, but it's not being exposed to as much outside wear, right? So you can save money on production and you can save time on production and then you can save your customer money by using a machine to sew something like that to get an equally, an equal strength item that is probably not going to need to be repaired as much because your stitching is protected on the inside of the bag. Um, I also, personally, I don't own a sewing machine. I've used one a couple times, but I just like saddle sewing. It's my favorite part of the whole leather crafting process. So for my own fulfillment, saddle stitching is what I prefer to do. Um, but that that's all personal preference. You really can't go wrong with either saddle stitching or machine sewing. It's more a matter of what pros and cons are you willing to do you prefer to deal with? Do you want to get into it for cheap and maybe take a little bit of a longer time to learn how to hand sew? Or do you have the cash and you have your designs and you have, you're ready to just grab a machine, learn how to cut, and then let the machine do the work? And the last angle to look at is just how important is it that the seam doesn't fail? So are you in a weight bearing application? Are you in a out in the field for 30 days with no access to repair tools or just a needle and thread and a sewing kit application. If that's the case, you're going to want to go with a saddle stitch just because, as we said before, what you have is a stitch holding it together and a backup stitch in case one of the stitches breaks. If you're going to go with machine sewn, you want to just make sure that you hide your seams or you protect them so that you don't have to worry about the, the abrasions breaking one of the stitches and the whole seam coming apart. So you can mitigate that risk with a machine sewn piece as well. Um, and so, yeah, so that's the basic gist of it. This is not very technical. I've, I'm just a leather worker. I don't really know machines much, but I thought it'd be good to kind of go over, give you kind of a, a little overview if you've never read about this stuff before or experienced both, um, because I know it is a, a very popular conversation to have machine sewing versus hand sewing. Um, I think they both have their place. I think they're both great.
and uh, it's just up to you to figure out what preference, what your preference is. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.